Today we're visiting Jameson Elementary to see what they have done to promote the TerraCycle program at their location. I am a fifth grade teacher. I head up the Grubbs Ecology Club and Recycling Naturally, which falls into that category. We've been in TerraCycle for four or five years now. We have 800 kids collecting juice pouches. I manage the juice pouch collection. There's also a sixth grade teacher who manages, uh, helps me manage that. And we have a parent volunteer who helps mail out all of the pouches. The kids do, I'd say, 98% of the sorting and collecting. You know, the whole point of this is to have the kids take ownership and head up the whole thing. The biggest thing is promotion. We have kids doing morning announcements. They, they actually write their own commercial skits. We film them and then we show them a morning announcements. We have a human juice pouch superhero that goes into primary grade classrooms and teaches them how to recycle. So it's the more ownership we put in the kids' hands, the better. Hi kids, I'm the human juice pouch. Here to teach you how to recycle a juice pouch. Drink it down, smooth it flat, pull the straw, and that is that. That's a fantastic idea. Having a fun way to promote the program gets everyone excited about collecting. We've raised a lot of money and all the money goes directly back into the school. Our principal rocks. Our principal is the best, most supportive person that we have going for us. The home and school, which is the, the parent PTA, some people call it PTA, we call it home and school with parent board. They're awesome. They, their full support is behind us. I mean, we would not be as successful with this if we didn't have the support of our principal or the home and school. We also have kids that bundle the juice pouches, and that's the hardest part to get kids. We sometimes start with 40 kids, and when they see really how much work is involved and how it smells and it's messy, we, we dwindle down to around 15. And I find that you keep those kids involved by putting their face out there, giving them the recognition. So we came up with the whole commercial uh, morning announcement skits. By having those kids generate their skits and getting their face out there on the television of the school, kids get excited. And the whole school gets excited. And it, it just sort of snowballs. And before you know it, it's really a part of the community of the school. We communicate the goals and what we're doing largely through morning announcements. So kids see it directly. We also use our Trash Talker news site, uh, newsletter. and So parents see that. and. Uh, we also like to go into classrooms and do a live feature where we have kids communicating to other kids on how to better recycle and, and how we're doing. And we also have bigger projects at the school, so we're currently trying to build an eco pavilion. It's a pavilion that's made of recycled aggregate, rain barrels, and it's funded through the fundraising we do, which would be partly TerraCycle. We also promote through t-shirts. It's a fundraiser, so the kids buy the t-shirts, but it also gives them an identity. Grubs is our ecology club, the logo's on the front. And if he spins, pirouette. Yeah. Our slogan's getting dirty to keep our school clean. So it's the whole, you know, it fits in with the, the vision of our ecology club to promote. So the collection is actually multifaceted. We have a collection point in the classroom, which we purposely pick uh, containers that are relatively small, so we don't want them to be overwhelmed. And from here, they get dumped into the cafeteria. There's a, a trash can in the cafeteria. That's really where kids are generating the juice pouches mostly from snack, they get dumped into here. Cafeteria goes right into the trash can, and then we have, I call them grandpappy. It's a big, big trash can. The trash can in the cafeteria holds roughly a thousand plus juice pouches. So we generate anywhere from 600 juice pouches a week, so we might do that weekly, bi-weekly. We take them from that trash can, so this is new, we just started this, from that trash can in the cafeteria, the kids, we pull in Grandpappy. The kids from there are pulling the straws, chucking them, smoothing them, and, and really it's gotten a lot better. And then they throw them into Grandpappy. And Grandpappy holds you know, over 2,000. While Jameson chooses to remove the straws, TerraCycle does not require the straws to be removed from the pouches. So what we're gonna do then from here is we take these and we bag them up into a trash bag and compress everything, all the air out, and tie it. And then these store great out in the shed, so there's no odor, which is, you know, what you want. And then when we hit 5,000, again, we compress them and then box them up and try to mail out. Shipping, what's great for us is that we find that there are a lot of parents who want to be involved. And, you know, opening it up to the parents is great. Uh, because the kids are doing so much in school, 
we really don't need parent involvement in school, but I have a parent who coordinates all my shipping, which is great for me. Promote it, promote it, promote it. Our promotion is what garners and generates all of our juice pouch collection. If people don't know it's there, you know, they're not going to do it. As long as people feel like it's just a habit that they get into, it, it, it just is, it builds. It builds and it, the more people get involved, the better the kids feel like it's their program. It's not some extraneous, unknown, unfaced adult doing this stuff. And the kids also see the money. I mean, we advertise what we do with the money. It's up front, it's in their face, and they feel it as a huge payoff. They feel like it's theirs. They're the ones collecting the pouches. They're the ones bundling and packaging. They're the ones that are seeing the money benefit their school. You know, it, it's totally student-centered.